Greetings. Bye then. You need to store something? Bye. Can I be of help? Your goods are safe with us. Mage armor, staffs, potions. Buy or leave, don't doddle. All right then. Hail, warrior. How did you get here alive? The monsters have been killing everyone along the roads. I saw a large group of monsters being led by a terrible sorcerer who reeked of dark power. It must have been the Telkin. He was a terrifying sight. They forced their way through this temple, then passed that gate toward the Valley of the Kings. That which they call a Telkin passed through here. When it came, we all fled, for we were cowards. But our head priest, Nebkemi, stood before the dread sorcerer. With his staff high and his arm outstretched, he fought it. Only the terrible Telkin turned Nebkemi's spells back upon him. Our brave head priest was changed, utterly transformed. He is one of them now. My weapons and armor are simply the best. Look for yourself. You will find no better. Farewell. Everyone asks where the monsters came from. It is clear as day. They were sent by the enemies of the gods. Roads not taken may now be followed. It is decided. Have you heard the news? A terrible monster was here. They're calling it the Master of Beasts. Creatures of the sun follow it like loyal dogs. Oh, the dead. In these times, so many dead. When Egypt was untroubled, 
all were buried with the Book of the Dead. In this book are written many spells and other things one must know to safely pass through Duat, the Kingdom of Death. After using the spells to get past demons and monsters of various types, they reach the halls of the dead. There Osiris, Lord of the Underworld, will weigh their heart upon the scales of justice. On one side, the heart. On the other side, the feather of truth. If they were wicked in life, their heart will be heavy, and they will be thrown to the monster Amot, devourer of souls. But if their heart is light, they are free, given a second life there in Duat, land of the dead.
You cannot open the door at this time.
Bulls, I must tell you, nearly fire themselves. Farewell. Ye yeah. always a mage goods. All right, then. I could uh, store goods for you. Goodbye. You found Nebkemi? Well, it is good that he rests now. Can I help you? So long! Thank you. 
pleased to meet. Goodbye.
can't hold, you can't hold anymore. You can't hold anymore. So long! This cannot be opened.
Your inventory you have is no full. more room. Please to meet. Be healthy.
You have no more room. You can't hold any more. Greetings! So long!
Have you heard the news? A terrible monster was here. Greetings. Goodbye. The transfer of knowledge may destiny teach you greatness. Mage goods, staffs and rings, robes of all varieties. Bye. What? Good riddance. Storage? Caravan storage? Thank you. You defeated the Telkin? <laughs> Excellent! Perhaps there is hope yet. You must get to Babylon. Even now, another Telkin is assaulting that city. What is this tablet that you found? Let me take a look at it. Hmm. Oh, no. I know now what these Telkin were looking for. This tablet reveals that within the Temple of Marduk, below the Hanging Gardens, rests the Sickle of Kronos. This sickle was used by the Titans in the Great War and possesses the power to kill even a god. If this sickle is at the Telkin's command, oh, we are all doomed. Hurry, it is most important that you get to Babylon right away. There is no time to go by land or boat. Uh, there may be a better way. Go to the Temple of Hatshepsut, where you will find an ancient portal. The Scepter of Eternity is a key to many realms and can be used with the portal to transport you to Babylon. Place the Scepter before the portal and walk through. Go with all speed. We may already be too late. There, the gates are open. Go, hero, or I fear to think what will befall us. <laughs> 